In this video, I'm going to show you the best cover 3 beater in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips that we release every single day here on the channel. Now the play we're going to be going over is the clear out SE out out of the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. Now you could actually run this concept to both the wide side of the field and the short side of the field. My my contingency is that it does work a little bit better to the short side just because it allows you uh, to glitch out some other coverages. But it's a great play, either hash mark, no matter what, it's going to beat cover three. And we're going to show you that in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive guide, I'm going to put that link in the description below. You can sign up for my True Fan membership. It gets you access to all of my ebooks, exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns, and we're working on getting uh, a Discord going over there. So, that being said, it's just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel at any time. And we update these ebooks every patch, every time something changes. We always put uh, a late or uh, the latest updates for you uh, in that as well. So, if you want to get access to that, again, 10 bucks a month and you can cancel it whenever you want. Okay, guys. So, and the link to that is in the comment section and in the description. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put Beasley on a corner route. You need Slot Apprentice or Hot Route Master to do this, but I promise you it is worth it, especially out of bunch. What you're going to see is if they run cover three, it really doesn't matter what they do. Um, if they run cover three, it's a touchdown. It's just that simple. If they run cover three, it's a touchdown every single time. Now, I can flip this play, and I can run this to the wide side. I'm going to flip my defense as well. So I can flip the play, run it to this side of the field, and what you're going to see is pretty much the same exact result. Uh, right here, Josh Allen got... I got bum rushed by the pressure. So let me show it to you one more time. Again, we're just going to flip it, put Beasley on a corner route. And again, the pass rush in practice mode is just crazy this year. It's been crazy for the last couple years, but there you see what I'm talking about. Over the top, one play score. So really simple cover three beater, like really, really, really simple. You only It only requires very basic adjustments. Now, let's say, for example, that they run, I don't know, let's say that they run cover four drop. Okay, great example. If they run cover four drop, they can't handle a high low read on the left. So we now, if we put the running back on a quick out, we have a high low between the running back and the tight end across on the, on the crossing route. Now, I'm getting randomly matched thanks to good old practice mode. Um, but let me show it to you one more time. So, again, as long as they don't match. And if they do match tight end, just hit your running back. you got your running back on the flat, and then you've got your tight end on this deep post. And let me just tell you, that deep post, it gets over 30-yard cloud flats. So, you know, they can't really run cover three. They can't really run cover four because they have to mabel. So then what they're going to do is they're going to run cover two. Now, I will say cover two is probably the best way to play this. But if you take a look at this, you've got these two stock fades. These two stock fades normally do a really, really good job against cover two. As you can see, that one on the right doing a really good job on the left side. Of course, they're going to still probably have to use her the post route. So in the case that they're running some kind of like, you know, double Mabel coverage, again, I just like to use my running back to basically torch the defense. So whatever the defense is doing, I'll do something with the running back, like an option route. If they're, if they're, if I'm getting a lot of Mabel coverage, I'll go to that. And as you can see, we can just keep the offense on the schedule uh, with the running back route. But in my opinion, this is the best bomb in the game. All you have to do, you could create a high-low to the right if you wanted to. You could run him on an in route. This is another concept. You know, you could do something like this, have three levels, um, and do it like that as well. You know, you could do whatever you want with the running back. Uh, one of my other favorite routes to the running back is a ghost route, but I can't do that in practice mode, or a check and release. So if they blitz, he stays in. If they don't blitz, then he goes out. And then as you can see, it's, you know, a simple, simple route combo. But I'll tell you right now, if they run cover three on your field, um, they are going to get glitched every time. One play score every single time. So if you want to learn the rest of the bunch offense, I think bunch has the most, it's just the meta, man. It's the, it's the most effective offense. And if you want to learn exactly how to do all of it and run all of it at a high level, uh, there's a link to my true fan membership down in the description and in the comment section. Again, 10 bucks a month gets you access to everything and you can cancel it whenever you want. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.